Hey everyone, so here is a question from exercise 7.4, the first question and this is from fraction chapter of a class 6. Question is, write shared portion as a fraction, arrange them in ascending and descending order using correct sign greater than, equal to and uh, less than between the fractions. Alright, so the first question here is, we have given circle with different parts, so let us count how many parts are there. So there are total 8 parts of the complete circle. So and in that they have given three shared parts right so out of eight three sh are shared yet so the fraction will be three upon eight the next one the same it, it has also has a eight equal parts and here total six are shaded so the fraction becomes six by eight the third one we have a four shaded portion so it will be four by eight right and the next one there is only one shared portion so this will be one by eight now since we got the fractions, now we are going to arrange them in an ascending and descending order. I am going to start with ascending. So ascending means smaller to the greater. The smallest number here is 1. So you know that in like uh, the denominator is same here. So they are actually like fractions. So in like fractions, we have to check the numerator. The smallest the numerator, the smaller will be the fraction. So here 1 is the smallest one. So 1 by 8 will be the smallest fraction. The next is we have 3. So 3 by 8. And then we have a 4, so we'll get 4 by 8, and then next is 6 by 8, right? So 4 by 8 is again less than 6 by 8. Now this is ascending order. Now the same opposite we have to write in descending order. Descending order means from greater to the smaller. So the greatest here is 6, right? So 6 by 8 is greater than 4 by 8. You have to just write the opposite of the ascending order. Then 3 by 8 and that is greater than 1 by 8. This is the first problem. Let's move on to the next one. Second problem. In second problem, total we have a 9 equal parts in that square. Out of that, you can see if all the parts are shared except 1. It means 8 by 9 will be the fraction. The next one we have a 4 shared portion. So 4 by 9. The next one there are 3. So it will be a 3 by 9. Okay, I'm not cancelling here. I'm not reducing here because I want the denominators to be same. The next we have 6 portions which are shared there. So it will be 6 by 9. Don't cancel them. Don't bring the smallest form, uh, simplest form. Otherwise, uh, denominators will be different. It will be difficult to arrange. We're going to start with ascending order. The smallest one is 3 here. So 3 by 9. So 3 by 9 is less than. Next number is 4. So 4 by 9. And then we have a 6. After 4, we have a 6. So 6 by 9 and then followed by 8 by 9. So uh, 6 by 9 is less than 8 by 9. So this is ascending order. Now we're going to write down the descending order opposite of ascending. So in descending, the greatest here is 8 by 9, which is greater than 6 by 9, which is again greater than 4 by 9. And again, this is greater than 3 by 9. So we're done with first two problem. We're going to move on to the next one, the third one, which is the problem C. So in third one, they're asking, show 2 by 6, 4 by 6, 8 by 6, and 6 by 6 on number line and put appropriate sign between the fractions given. So two things you're asking in this question. First, we're going to draw the number line here. You can see that denominator here is 6, right? And here, the three fractions are actually the proper fractions where numerator will be smaller than denominator. So 2 by 6, 4 by 6, and 6 by 6, we're going to lie between 0 and 1, and 8 by 6, we're going to lie after 1. So here, 0 and 1 are going to make 6 equal parts because denominator is 6. Okay? So the first one will be 1 by 6. Second will be 2 by 6. Third is 3 by 6. And then we have 4 by 6. And the next 5 by 6. And the next one will be 6 by 6, which is nothing but 1. If you cancel 6 and 6, we'll get 1, right? The next. So we're going to start plotting the numbers first. And again later, we're going to plot 8 by 6. Okay, so here 6 by 6. The first number we have given is 2 by 6. So 2 by 6 is here. I'm going to just circle it. The next one we have uh, 4 by 6, 
which is here let me write it as b the next we have a 8 by 6 okay let me plot 8 by 6 here now now 8 by 6 is an improper fraction it's gonna lie after 1 so it's gonna come between 1 and 2 so i'm gonna divide again 1 and 2 into 6 equal parts right or you can just again keep on continuing like we have a 6 by 6 now the next one will be 7 by 6 8 by 6 like let's keep on going so again one equal part and then you can show up to 2 if you want to. Here I want 8 by 6. So I'm going to stop here. So I got 6 by 6. The next will be 7 by 6 here. And the next I have a 8 by 6. And the next will be 9 by 6. So 8 by 6 I got a number line. So this will be a point C. The last one is 6 by 6 which is nothing but 1. That's it. So we have drawn the number line. We have plotted the fractions. Now the next question they are asking here is put appropriate sign between them. So here 6 and 6 we have. We have like they are like fractions. So check the numerator. 5 is greater. So 5 by 6 will be greater here. Again 3 by 6 and 0. Obviously 3 by 6 is greater than 0 right. It's going to come after. You can see on the number line 3 by 6 is after 0. And the next one we have 1 by 6 and 6 by 6. 6 by 6 is nothing but 1. So 1, 1 is greater than 1 by 6. Next we have 8 by 6 and 5 by 6. You can look at the number line. 8 is greater than 5. So 8 by 6 is greater than 5 by 6. So that's it. I hope it's clear. Thank you so much for watching.